previous video, we upgraded our Sonnet eGraphics power supply to support better graphics. With a Vega 56 at its core, we can enjoy super smooth gaming, accelerate graphics intensive pro app workflows, and enable VR experiences and content creation. In Final Cut Pro, we have super smooth scrolling and better export times. In today's video, we'll be benchmarking both the RX 580 as well as the Vega 56 and seeing whether the $300 upgrade is worth it. We'll be covering three main benchmarks, including real-world applications such as Final Cut Pro export times, Geekbench scores, and Cinebench benchmark scores, and do a cost-benefit analysis. Our first benchmark was Final Cut Pro and after deleting generated render files, optimized media, and proxy media, we exported a video clip about 5 minutes in length using H.264 encoding in 1080p HD resolution. Please excuse the sensors, since that's a personal video from my grandmother. In Final Cut Pro, we see an improvement of about 11% going from the 580 to the 56. In Cinebench, we see an improvement of around 11.8% in terms of frames per second. And in Geekbench, the least accurate benchmark, we see around 15.63%. In terms of cost, the total setup is around 45% more expensive, accounting for the enclosure and the graphics card. If we do a cost-benefit analysis, by scaling the performance of about 11% with a cost increase, we can see that it is not worth it, at least in my opinion. And that's it for today's video. If you agree, please leave a comment below, or if you disagree, please like and subscribe for sure. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the reasons why. Again, thanks everyone for watching, and I hope you have a great day.